probably gonna cook, just cook on one of these flat rocks here and then um, maybe I'll get a fire going after. I'm gonna see what the weather does too because it still feels like it's gonna rain and I don't have a tarp or anything and plus there isn't really a place to set up a tarp so I might have end up in the tent early if that happens. Um, so I'm just gonna see what's going on first but first priority is to make dinner because I'm hungry and it's getting really late. Uh, I got the tent set up there. It's not too bad. Um, I have the place where I'm gonna sleep right there. The problem is that if I'm sleeping on this side of the tent on that nice flat spot, I have to get in and out of the tent on this side. And that can be a little bit tricky because there's this ledge here, but uh, it's not too bad. So I've got all my stuff in there. And when I was setting up the tent, I have this really bright green dry bag that I just bought. It's even some of bag. Oh, here you go. And I had it sitting here and I don't know if you can see but there's fleas, little tiny fleas. Now, I'm thinking maybe these are still snow fleas. They're the first ones to come out. But I don't know if you can see them. They're super tiny. And um, they were all over my one dry bag. So that's why I put everything in the tent. I've already put the backpack away, everything. You can see them on the thermometer too. They're all over the place. And yes, it's 11 degrees. <laughs> um, they're not on me. They're not on the dry suit, and that's also part of why I kept the dry suit on. I'm like, you know what? I'm covered, like my feet. I, this is like a giant onesie, right? So this has feet, and then this is all one piece. And then um, there's gaskets on the wrist and the neck. So those fleas can't even get in there right now. So that's why I was kind of like, well, maybe I'll just leave it. But I've only noticed them over here. I have my stuff sitting over here and as you can see the lark the water bottle my shoes there's none of them on here they just seem to be over here um, where the tent is so um i put everything in there and i closed it up real good um, because i don't want to have fleas in my tent i don't think i do i haven't seen any um, but they are definitely here and uh, that's kind of gross a little bit creepy this is my new trowel that i got from suluk 46 Steve at the Outdoor Adventure Show. Uh, he makes these titanium products that are like, this thing is, it's lighter than my my spork. It's lighter than anything I own. And uh, I'm gonna test it out this weekend. I haven't used it yet. And um, these are to dig my privy. I've got uh, something set up up there. Um, there's a big rock and uh, there were a bunch of like logs and stuff laying on the ground. So I made a little seat and I just have to dig a hole, so that's all ready to go. Uh, are these fleas too? No, this is just dirty. Oh, but they're all over my spin, so I hope you can see them. Oh yeah, they are. It's not just dirty. There's fleas all over this too. I'm gonna have to really watch when I go in the tent tonight. And let's look at this gorgeousness right now. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so I'm gonna go take a couple pictures and stuff before this disappears, and uh, I'm gonna get my dinner going. I'm having a really hard time getting dinner going because I'm just, I can't stop taking pictures. The sky looks amazing here. If I get out of the picture, you can see it better. I did manage to move the canoe. I flipped it over, I tied it up, and um, then I took a bunch more pictures. So uh, yeah, it's gonna start getting dark, probably the next half hour, so I really need to get dinner going. Um, but I'll be okay. <laughs> Look at that. All right, it is eight o'clock <laughs> and um, this is not too bad. It's still light out, so it could be worse. Still have to collect a bit of firewood. Probably just have a little fire for a bit, but it's supposed to get cold tonight. So kind of wanted a long fire, but I do have my hot pocket with me to put in my sleeping bag. Um, not, when I say hot pocket, I'm not talking about those hand warmers or body warmers you get. It's like, a little blanket. Some of you have seen it, I'm sure. 
Um, anyways, stove is ready there. Hopefully that is uh, somewhat even. Okay. It's also discombobulated, but I really need to get this dry suit off too, but it's keeping me really warm, so kind of like, well, eventually I'm going to need to pee very soon, actually. But I thought I'd let this get this started while it's simmering. I can do a few things and uh, the bugs are starting to come out too. Surprise! Okay, in you go. Oh, this smells so good already. Let's start to the bottom. I did put too much water in here, but... All right, I'm gonna go change and I will be back. That's about 25 after eight. Still got a beautiful sky here. Uh, just hung my tights up and my socks in the tree and uh, my little water shoes over there. I'm all changed, feel so much better. That was a really good idea to start the dinner first and then um, do all that because it's still simmering. It is reducing nicely. Whoop! I need two hands for this. Goodbye. I think I'm going to throw the chicken in and shred the cheese and uh, should thicken up and be almost ready. The noodles are cooked. There actually isn't that much in there, but it's okay. It's late and I have three chocolate covered Oreos and a Reese's peanut butter cup for dessert. So um, I'm, I'm good with it. <laughs> I haven't been eating that much lately either. The uh, sky is still looking quite lovely over there, and um, that's about it. I haven't seen any wildlife, just uh, I saw geese fly by, and um, some of those uh, buffalo heads that I saw earlier kind of flew over, and that's about it. And there's a couple little bugs starting to come out, but nothing too crazy yet. There it is. So that looks perfect. I'm actually going to turn the heat off and uh, just let it cool for a bit and then I'm going to eat. Fantastic. Beautiful view. Still got a gorgeous sky over there. Life is good. I'm not exactly camping where I want it to be, but it's okay. This looks great. It's probably the perfect temperature for me to eat now. Um, it's almost 9 o'clock, but that's okay. I still have a little bit of color in the sky over here and uh, a bit of light. Um, yeah, and the rushing sound of the water. <laughs> I brought the thermometer over. It's, oh, that hurts. It's three degrees. Like it just said 11, like five minutes ago, it feels like, but yeah, that's crazy. Okay, this should be perfect temperature for me. I don't like to eat stuff super hot. Let's try it. There it is. Chicken garlic alf chicken garlic alfredo fettuccine. I never say it in the right order. I don't care. Mmm. Oh yes, I like it very much. Mmm. Good, good, good. The only thing better than this would be sitting here by a fire and eating this, but don't give me any ideas because I'll put it down and then it'll be cold by the time I eat it. Mm -mm really good um it is 9 30 uh, my dinner was delicious i just had a peanut butter cup um got a nice fire going and um i am going to make myself a hot chocolate in the pot and uh, i'm just going to use the stove i'm not going to boil the water on the fire or anything it just takes too long I have to look at it because if I look at the camera I'm probably blinding you with my light. I do have that light on but it's not super bright. I actually have to find my really cool multicolored light that I got for my tent. Uh, it's not just for my tent, I can use it for other stuff but right now I'm just kind of testing it out on the tent and um, apparently I missed a bunch of colors and I brought the book so I could read it. Like not that I'm going to sit here and read it probably but maybe in the tent but I pressed a bunch of buttons and um, I got some other colors to come up 
So um, Steve actually said, oh, you should get the rainbow. You should do the rainbow with the tent. And I'm like, the rainbow? Here it is. And I'm like, what's that? He goes, well, you can get a whole bunch of different colors. So let's see if this works. No. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it, but. So I'm fast enough, I can click a picture. I'll just put it in there. Oh my God, I'm gonna try it right now. Well, it's quarter after 10 and this is the scene here. Got a beautiful fire going. It is two degrees and um, I'm just starting to feel chilly. I have been, I just sat down. I have been taking pictures with my new light. It is freaking amazing. I had it on the canoe, I had it in the canoe, I had it in the tent, uh, I took videos in both um, like landscape and portrait and um, let it scroll through all the different colors and it is unbelievable, like the tent looks pink and red and purple and it's really, really neat. Anyways, um, I'm finally sitting down by the fire now and I got my hot chocolate going. I was so worried because I have been gone for like half an hour and I thought for sure it was cold, which it's not a big deal. I can just stick it on the fire, throw it back on the stove for a few minutes, whatever. But it was actually, it's actually the perfect temperature to drink. So I'm going to sit here and drink my hot chocolate and listen to my book. And I need to plug my phone in because it keeps getting down to like 3% and freaking me out. Um, yeah, and that's it. Cheers. Well, the sky is pretty lit up with the moon, or it was. Now there's some clouds rolling in. And, uh, you can see pretty good. Like, you could see the trees and the water and the sky. And it was pretty bright, but not so much anymore. I have a hot rock. <laughs> Um, it is 2 degrees, 2.6. Um, there was this little rock sitting there, this nice little flat rock. There it is. It's very, very, very hot. How do I do that? There we go. And, um, I just put it next to the fire. I didn't put it, like, in the fire because I had a bad experience with a hot rock, two rock, hot rocks. I burned a big hole in my tent. So um, I wanted to be really cautious. I've checked it like 50 times, but I can only have it sitting on my lap if I have it rolled this many times. This one is too hot. I can kind of like just lay my hands like next to it. I've been having it tucked up here and then I put like my shirt over it. <laughs> and it warms up my um my insides it's very lovely just have to be really careful because it's very very hot all right it is like 12 45. i have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the moon to come around here because i think see you can see the skies lit up there um, I wanted to come around and get a picture with the tent with the moon behind it and the sky lit up but I'm waiting and waiting and it's not moving fast enough. I need to go to bed. I'm really tired. I'm starting to get cold and I've used all the wood even the emergency wood for the morning. Wow well, I did a few things to get ready for bed. My, uh, I took the cover off my chair and just put it inside the tent because if it's gonna get really cold tonight, it might like get some frost on it and then be wet in the morning and I don't wanna sit in a wet chair. Um, the moon has come around in the meantime, not where I want it. Can't see uh, it lighting up the canoe or the tent or anything, which I think it will do in a little while if the clouds don't interfere. Um, but you can see the river. You can see it I'm much better with my eyes than in the video. But uh, it looks pretty cool. Hello. <laughs> oh, I am nice and toasty warm. I've got my hot pocket in here under my jacket. And it's just nice, comfortable. I got the rock down by my feet. So they're nice and warm. And then uh, I got my toque on. I'm just, I'm just comfy cozy. 
Um, I'm all ready for bed. It's like 20 after one, <laughs> super late. And I didn't even bring any pops tonight, like crazy. Uh, anyways, it is two degrees and um, not feeling it yet. So that's good. I probably like, usually as soon as I try to go to sleep, I'm like, start freezing, but I'm really comfortable. I was warm coming in. Usually I'm cold coming in. So as long as this, uh, what I'm laying on here isn't too uncomfortable, I should be okay. I got in and I was doing stuff and I'm sitting here. First of all, I have it backwards. So usually my head is on the other side um, and of the opening, like I got all my stuff over here. And usually my, my head is like all my stuff is over here and I'm facing this way. Um, so, and then I'm on like this weird lumpy mossy section. So, um, I feel okay now that I'm laying down. So hopefully it's good and uh, I don't slip and slide around too much. I put my backpack over there to keep me from sliding that way. And I got my little backpack up here. So hopefully that helps. Anyways, it's super quiet out here. It's really different than McRae two weeks ago. Like the peepers were going crazy. There were owls hooting. It was like somebody wrote on my um, on my video today in the comments something like a uh, Wild Kingdom or National Geographic show or something because there were so many, like there weren't any big animals, but there were so many animals like, you know, uh, the heron and the owls and all the birds and all the beavers. There were so many beavers, the snake. There was a lot of stuff. So here there's like nothing going on. Anyways, I am rambling. I'm going to go to bed. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Well, good morning. It is 20 after 5. Um, I was a little bit wrong on the position of the sunrise. Um, I didn't check it, the actual compass direction when I got to this campsite. I had a feeling it was going to be here, but it's actually down that way a little bit and it looks really pretty so far but um I'm freezing and I'm going back in the tent I feel like I've just been laying down all night with my eyes closed and I haven't slept at all I'm so tired and um I think I'm going to crawl back in my sleeping bag I might miss the sunrise most likely it's supposed to come up at 6 15 I think and it's 5 20 I'm not going to stand out here and wait, but it does look pretty. Mm -hmm. That thing. Hello. Hi. Hello. She just walked right in front of me. I don't know what it is. It's like a giant rat. Gone. My headlamp isn't working anymore. Where did it go? Went in the water? I was standing right there and it walked right along the shoreline, like not even two feet in front of me. And it's gone. Well, it's 5.50. <laughs> I didn't stand out here. I went back in the tent and put my hot pocket in my jacket, <laughs> which is there right now, and uh, checked some stuff on social media. Checked out the video. I believe that was a muskrat. I think so. That's what it looked like. I had to uh, lighten the, the display because it was on really low to keep the battery from dying faster and um, put my glasses on and I think it was a muskrat. Anyways, uh, not much has changed here and um, once again I'm gonna say it and go back to bed and uh, that's that. <laughs> well good morning. It is 8 30 a.m. and I am here at the Gibson River. Uh, the sun is shining. It's beautiful. It's about 10 degrees according to my thermometer. Uh, Weather Network says it's seven, feels like six, but um, it's much warmer in the sunshine. I still have my hot pocket here in my jacket, um, but i get rid of that shortly. I'm um, just sitting here enjoying the beautiful sunshine and trying to figure out my plan. 
I just checked the uh, weather network. I have a signal here, so why not? Um, the hourly forecast is now showing it's not going to start raining until about 6 tonight, but the winds are supposed to start picking up um, hour by hour, starting around 11 o'clock, um, up to like 38 kilometer wind gusts, which isn't super, super crazy, but it's not that great on big water. Um, right now it's only 11 kilometer gusts, and like I said, it increases every hour. So the original plan was to spend the whole day here on the Gibson River and paddle up and down and check it out and explore and look for wildlife. But because I can't do that, um, I can't really paddle in either direction because of the current. And uh, I'm still a little bit anxious about making it to that axis right across from me. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it, but you never know. It might be a bit of a struggle. All right, I just spent the last little bit uh, creating a video that I'm going to post uh, shortly. I'm going to try to get it up now. Um, the sky is starting to cloud over. My beautiful sunshine is going away. Um, it's still okay out, but it's not as nice and warm as it was. Um, and I spent all that time making the video. I'm going to go in the tent for a little bit and uh, sit in the sleeping bag and get this video together and post it. Um, but uh, then I'm going to start slowly packing up. It's about nine-ish, quarter after nine, something like that. Uh, I just wanted to show you something. Hang on, i got to flip the camera around. I was just heading into the tent and looked over at my yoke. <laughs> um, look at this, guys. Look at all these little fleas. I think they're fleas. I'm assuming if you guys know what they are, let me know but my yoke is totally covered. Like it almost looks black. There's so many and uh, just like hundreds and hundreds of them. Um, I haven't experienced any issues. I don't see any in the tent or anything like that. But when I was setting up the tent yesterday and I had my gear over there, um, I noticed that they were on a few things and uh, wow, that is crazy. Look at them all. Anyways, I thought you guys would find that cool. I certainly did. Uh, I'm going to get in the tent and uh, start slowly packing, getting dressed and all that stuff. And uh, getting ready to <laughs> attempt to get to the axis over there and get out of here. All right, it is 10.30. I have got the canoe all packed up. Everything's in there ready to go and I'm ready to launch. Um, the plan is to kind of get in the water here. I'm gonna flip the camera, hold on. All right, the plan is to get in the water here and I'm obviously gonna get pushed this way. I'm gonna try to cut over to where the current isn't very strong here in front of these trees and then cut across to the access. Hopefully all goes well and um, that's all I can hope for. <laughs> all right. That was easy peasy. Uh, just got in, booked it straight across. The hardest part was getting the stuff out of the boat, getting the boat out of the water before the uh, waves and the current smashed it against that rock. So uh, I'm gonna sit here and take a breath for a minute. And then I'm gonna get the canoe ready to portage and bring everything over to the other side. Oh. Glad that's over. Now well, from sitting here at the uh, portage access, looking over to where I just camped, I can't even believe that I made a campsite there. It's like so awful looking and yet still managed to make a really nice home for the night. All right, I got the canoe over at the other side. I'm just gonna go over and get the pack and uh, I'll be off and running. It doesn't seem too windy here right now. Let's see what it's like when I get to the end of the uh, little waterway here, if I'm gonna go right or left. And uh, I would like to do some exploring, but it is also getting very hot in this dry suit. Uh, might be better after I stop doing the portage. Uh, so we'll see. Well, that was a really different experience than my trip two weeks ago at McRae. Um, I was expecting the same kind of uh, nature type stuff, peepers, birds, frogs, herons, you name it, all of the things. But uh, barely saw much of anything. Some buffalo heads, saw a couple geese, heard a couple geese. 
That was it. Oh, and the muskrat I saw uh, this morning, but it was so dark you could barely see it. It literally walked like two, three feet in front of me on the shoreline. Oh, well, every trip is different. Every single trip is different. That's why I love going on trips. It's always different. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know if you're gonna get stuck in a river and can't go up or down it because of the currents, um, but it's all part of it. All right, just taking my sweet ass time here. I'm gonna jump in the canoe here and uh, head out. Well, it's about 11.30 and just paddling through the lake. Um, conditions are pretty good. It's really nice out this morning. A little bit overcast. Uh, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Tiny bit of a headwind, but that's not too bad either yet. I'm just gonna take my time and slowly make my way back to the access. And um, hopefully there are too many speedboats out here today. I haven't actually had any pass by me, two of them on the uh, smaller waterway there from the portage back into the main part of the lake um, were in front of me, but they didn't actually pass by me. And just a couple of people out at their properties here and there, uh, starting to set up their furniture and get their boats on the water and all that kind of stuff. So it's very, uh, very nice, quiet, calm day here. As I've been paddling towards this, there have been nine speed boats coming through. Only one of them slowed down slightly. They were all going so, so fast. It says here that it's 40 kilometers. I can't really judge the speed of a boat in that canoe, but I don't know. Uh, so one of these big boats, just the last ones that came through, was flying through here and all of a sudden came around the corner and there was a speedboat coming from the other way. They looked like they almost collided and uh, that's when they finally slowed down. And it was a big, a big boat with four people in it. Like a, a fancy boat, not just like a fishing boat or a tin boat or a motor boat or something. Um, anyways, I don't hear any boats right now, so I'm going to do my best to motor right through this little section here. So as I was watching these boats come through, trying to avoid them, I did a sharp head turn to the left and my hat blew right off my head even though it was super super secure and tight and I almost lost it. I had to do a U-turn and uh, do some fancy paddling to get next to it it started taking off on the water like going with the wind but thankfully it didn't sink and uh, I managed to snatch it back out so very happy about that. Well, it's 12.05 and I'm still dawdling. Uh, the wind keeps coming and going depending on what's around me what part of the lake I'm on but it's not too bad. I haven't had any more boats come through since that parade of like eight or nine of them. So that's been good. And uh, just about at the marina here, once I pass the marina, it's just a really, really short stretch to get to uh, the parking lot there at Potter's Landing. Alright, it's quarter after 12 and I am past the marina, a couple more boats heading out, lots of activity there and um, I am just about at the access to the parking lot at Potter's Landing where my car is. I'm just going to do a quick recap here because I don't like doing it at the axis. I never know who's going to be there. There's probably going to be people putting speedboats in the water and stuff like that. And um, it's just easier to do it at camp. Um, just throw this in at the end of the video. Um, I'm glad I made it out. Uh, a little bit scary. Won't be coming back to Gibson River at this time of the year unless I go through maybe Gibson Lake. Although that might be uh, crazy too. The underpass there um, has a crazy current uh, to get through that part. But um, 
glad I came anyways, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, short but sweet, beautiful sunset. I got some great pictures and videos. Really love that new light that I got. Thanks again to Steve, and um, good time here. I got lots of trips and great adventures coming up, so I hope you stay tuned, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.